Good morning darlings and welcome to a new daily vlog. Today is going to be a really fun day. I've got Soph coming over in a few minutes actually. I need to hurry up and do my hair before she gets here. And we're going to have a day of Be My Bride planning. Um, but also this is the first time I've seen Soph since her honeymoon and actually since her wedding day. So we have so much to catch up on. I'm so excited. And then we've also got dinner with two of our other best friends this evening. So it's going to be a really, really nice day. It's a very nice way to spend a Friday. We do have a few meetings in town as well and we are going to be working. But yeah, just going to be a perfect day. I'm also going to be giving Soph her wedding present this morning. I filmed a video during her wedding day. There was also a professional videographer but I wanted to film like getting ready and some more slightly candid shots so I've edited that and I'm going to show her that this morning and then I've also made a little photo album full of snaps from the day as well because I always think it's nice as well as the professional photographer to put together snaps that the friends have taken, family, you know, when everyone's getting ready and coming out from their own homes, things like that. So I've gone through her wedding hashtag and pulled out loads of photos that her friends have taken and lots that I took on the day as well. So I've made a nice photo album and I'm gonna give her that this morning. We then have a bit of a fun afternoon as well as meetings of some pampering. We're going to get our nails done. We're gonna be doing some bridal beauty features on Be My Bride and um and we've got a really nice lunch at Dalloway Terrace as well. So overall a really fun day. So it's gonna be here any second. I need to do my hair so I'll catch up with you guys very shortly. I'm also not sure if I'm gonna wear this dress today. It was just a very easy throw it on option, but it's looking really warm outside. So I might have a last minute outfit change. I'll see what Soph's wearing. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, sorry, I didn't hear the doorbell. I'll come right down. just watched Soph's wedding video morning routine. I know, I didn't even know that you'd filmed as much as you had. I feel like I just had the camera out and was just getting like little snippets throughout mm. the morning. But th there were so many like nice details, I didn't want you to like forget any of the I details. I know, it's so cute. And oh. um, you filmed a bit of my dad seeing my dress, which I didn't even really remember his reaction to oh. be honest. <laughs> at this point, at that point, Soph was like, we were just all so keen to get there because it's a bit of a running joke. Matthew, Soph's husband, <laughs> is always like, oh, Soph, you're never on time. So we just really wanted to be on time for the yeah. church. And I think Soph was like, come on, let's go, let's go. Yeah, but, and I kept getting really emotional because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna let him down if I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> and then as it happens, we were early, so we did <laughs> so we'll another laugh in her amazing Rolls Royce. But yeah, such a perfect day. It's so nice to relive it. I know. I'm so glad you're back from honeymoon and we can <laughs> relive everything. And we talk about it as well. Yeah, and we're catching yeah. up with the girls tonight and we're gonna chat through everything again, probably <laughs> show all the photos again. Yeah, it's the first time we've all been together since your wedding day. Yeah, it is. Oh, so cute. Um, Soph is wearing a gorgeous little leopard skirt this morning. Sick. So, oh, snake. Why did I say leopard? I've got trainers. Like <laughs> <laughs> all about, all about the practicality. Well, I can't be barefoot. I don't like being barefoot in feet. Oh, no, not me. <laughs> when people wear bare feet in trainers as well, I just can't stand no, it. No, so oh. I just put trainers books on, but they're not really um, aesthetically it's pleasing. <laughs> the rest of the outfit is gorgeous. And it's definitely inspired me. I'm going to put on something a little bit shorter because this dress is literally like a giant um, picnic blanket. I but <laughs> I need to prepare myself beauty wise. And I was just showing Soph my epic epilator. And Soph has never epilated no. before. Oh my goodness. Um, do you think you're just scared that it's a little bit painful? Yeah, I think I really think it's going to be really sore. I also like, think that the sound is a bit scary. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ease Soph into it. So the first time I epilated, actually, I remember very clearly. I was in the bath, and I'd literally. Did you do it in the bath? Yeah, because this is wet and dry. Ah. 
on. And I find that so much better. You know when you like pluck your eyebrows after being in the bath or shower is so much easier? Easier, yeah. Because your pores are open. Um, so that makes it a little bit less painful. And you could just like do it instead of shaving, because I shave my legs, so. Yeah, exactly. just replacing shaving. Well, it just lasts a lot longer. So if you, if you shave, then you can like leave it a couple of days. And if you're going to go on holiday and maybe you've got hand luggage, you don't want to, you can't take a razor with you. So this just lasts oh, can like. You take that? Yeah, I guess. Why wouldn't you be able to take that in your hand? Again? Yeah, well, this this actual attachment has a razor on it. Okay. So this is like the beginner's one. Um, so it shaves a little bit of the hair and then the epilator catches it. So it's much less painful for beginners. But then you can take this off. I'm past the beginner cap now. Onto the, <laughs> onto the professional cap. Because um, after a few times, you just don't really have as many hairs in your legs. So it doesn't yeah, have as so many to pull out. To do, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's not actually that scary. But yeah, I have... <laughs> Ron very kindly sent too, so you can give it a try. Oh. Yeah, this is the beginner set, Silk Appeal 5, so you can use the shaver head to start with, and then this is a little protector for the razor head. And I think for like, obviously you're back from your honeymoon, but in autumn, you don't want to be shaving your legs mm. all the time, because you don't have your legs out every day. I also day. think it's like a good idea to start things like hair removal now ready for yeah. next summer exactly because then next summer i always um remember seeing charlie's mum. charlie's mum is like a lifelong epilating fan and she'll just like be in the lounge watching tv and she's about to put on a short <laughs> skirt and just be like like doing her legs as though it's nothing yeah like even i've been epilating for like a year on and off but like solidly over summer and even now i'm like oh it prickles a little bit but viv's been doing it for I'm not going to say how many years, but like <laughs> probably a decade or two and it just doesn't hurt her at all now. So yeah, it's a good, good time of year to yeah. put it and into it practice. The trouble is once you get to summer, you end up just being like, oh, I haven't got time and then mm -hmm. you shave. Exactly. But if you're doing this now. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's any more painful than leg waxing. Yeah. And with waxing, you have to wait, is it like three or four weeks for Together. the leg hair to be long enough? Yeah. What does it say about length? Like how many we weeks to say to say okay? I don't know how long since waxing, but say you shave, yeah. then you could probably wait like three days and okay. then your hair's be long enough. Because they're like little tweezers and it'll like pluck them all out. I actually find it really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like shampoo and condition my hair and then I'll use this while the conditioner is sinking in. Um, and then I'll like investigate and clean it and you can see all your hair's... On the, mm. on the appellator, it's <laughs> really gross but really satisfying. So give it a go, I'm gonna zap for my legs now um, and then put on a shorter skirt because your skirt has inspired me. I think today is like the last yeah, day. Yeah, I think today is. Yeah. It's still like, it's, it's sunny skies. but it's a little bit cool. It's actually That's better weather. That's a good neck. That's a good idea. Maybe skirt. I'll do like a darker coloured skirt and a lighter coloured top and then we'll be Just like so, matching. Yeah, we'll be like coordinating but not like twinning. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So give this a go. I'm gonna do it now. Um, and yeah, let me know how you how you go oh. along. Ooh. And we've got some nice pampering coming up today. We're gonna go and get our nails done. I'm gonna get my nails done, you're getting a pedi, right? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, yay, let's go. So I've just changed my outfit. This is the best place I can show you. Inspired by So Skirt. <laughs> I've put on my favorite suede skirt from last year and then this lovely little pink lightweight blouse. Last minute leg prep. I appellated last like three days ago, so there's not too much going on but it's just to be silky smooth. I always do it in like little sections if it feel like it's going to be painful. Mm. And then I just need to moisturise. And we're ready to go. So we're starting off our busy day with lunch at the Dalloway Terrace of the Bloomsbury which is a very photogenic place. It always do it up so beautifully and I think they've done their autumn decor. Let's go and check it out. This is the perfect autumnal menu. Soph and I have both decided we're gonna get the spelt risotto with truffle. We've got some amazing starters as well. Fun fact, this is where I used to live, near Truly Farm in Gloucester. What have you gone for for your starter so? That looks amazing. I love how everything's presented. So beautiful. And I've gone for ultimate comfort food, pork belly, and a nice glass of vino. Our risotto has arrived. Looks good. You happy with your choice so? Looks delicious. The lighting here is so nice. You look like little angel. <laughs> sunlight behind you and we've got our blue cheese gratin bon appetit 
They've got a flower wall, they've got a little floral archway there that I've just taken some snaps bike. of my nails. And the bike! So cute! They've even got little like love tub seats. Adorable. I'll we'll have to come back here for a meeting one day, darling. So cute. So Soph and I are now in Selfridges and we've come to the Estee Lauder counter where we're going to be making our own perfect shades of lipstick. We've got lovely Martha helping us out. And so far, we have used the Create Your Own Custom Lip Cocktail. And I think this one here, perfect brownie nude autumn. So we're gonna tweak it a little bit so it's perfect for my skin tone and then get mixing. Here are some of the lipstick shades. It's like a candy shop of lipsticks. This one looks amazing. Oh my goodness. This is literally my childhood dream. Ah! And this is not just a blogger thing, by the way. You can come into Selfridges make your own lipstick such a fun idea here are our lipstick combinations we've got our base colors and we're adding in a few different shades to make it the perfect match both soap and i have added a little bit of yellow to our colors to warm them up a little bit that's soaps and mine is a little bit more brownie so now we wait for the lipsticks to melt and then once the color is all blended together we're gonna start giving them a try shade. I think it may be a little bit dark but we just dipped it in the pipette and we're going to give it a try. Recommended a third of yellow and 
bag and hopefully we're gonna find the perfect shade. How are yours looking so? These are my three. So it's gone through three different ones. Which, Which one have you got in mind? Mine changed, this one. So Mine have changed much. so much. This is you're getting very close to my perfect shade. <laughs> I know, where's yours? These two. We kind of accidentally ended up going for very similar, but Juicy still very starting different Yeah. I know, this is Juicy starting point and my starting point is so different. And we yeah. ended up really close. Can you see it? so close to my perfect nude that we are adding the tiniest little bit of orange in it goes and a little smidgen of black fingers crossed every change has a Be My Bride personalized lipstick case. Two refills, also the recipe card, so if and when I run out, I can come and get some more. Also, Martha has said that if you guys love the look of my shade, you can come in and ask for the Be My Bride or the Mrs. Lytton. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. And it can be made up for you, absolutely the same. Such a good little service, and they're offering this until the 4th of November but I've got a sneaky feeling it's gonna be so popular they're gonna to have to keep on doing it. This is my spare lid with XOXO. Love it, love it, love it. again after a very long but very fun day in town with Soph. I am of course wearing my new lipstick that I just made in the store at Selfridges. Absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. I will show you it in daylight tomorrow. Um, but I've just come home and undone quite a lot of blogger mail. One of the pieces that I received in particular I'm very excited to put to good use already. It is a selection of jewellery boxes from a company called My Stackers and it is so needed. I have a lot of lovely jewellery pieces and nowhere really to store them so I thought I would arrange my jewellery with you because I do get quite a lot of questions about all of my accessories but first let me show you how my jewellery is currently being displayed. So first of all I have these two overflowing as you can see jewellery boxes on my windowsill, very messy and there are so many lovely pieces in here it's just so undeserving. I've got some pieces in their individual boxes, oh, it's just like overflowing with gorgeous pieces. These um, these Muji drawers are completely full to the brim. I've got jewellery boxes, sorry this room is so messy, I've got jewellery boxes just lying around everywhere containing bits and bobs, there's a couple more jewellery boxes here, and then on my cushion which I'm currently tidying, please don't look at this, absolute pigsty, I have all these boxes also filled with jewellery. And here we have 
my new jewelry boxes sorry the lighting is rather horrible it's getting dark outside autumn evenings um they are all in these lovely gray boxes so i'm going to undo these and then put my jewelry inside which is going to be very fun and satisfying they're so beautiful as well the quality of these they're like a very light blush pink leather and then it's got a gray almost suede and leather interior so beautiful obviously as you might be able to guess from the name you can just stack them up choose as many or as different designs as you like this is the very beautiful top section you can see it's got a little lock detail there and then inside this beautiful big mirror and lots of different sections and for a jewelry aholic like myself this makes me very happy i'm so excited to fill this up in a little pouch here i guess that's the key and the bottom tray so yeah you can literally choose whatever combinations you want pick and mix to create your perfect jewelry block so then you just pop them all one on top of each other to create your perfect jewelry box stack i guess it'd be um a good idea to put your most used things in the top because otherwise you have to like lift it up to see what's underneath but it's a really really great idea lovely um gift idea you might be thinking Josie are you not meant to be out for dinner with the girls right now and unfortunately one of the girls isn't feeling too well and the other um has been getting a little bit stressed with work lately and she's off to Paris really early tomorrow morning so we decided that we're going to do it next week instead um so Charlie has just shouted me that our shepherd's pie is ready so I'm going to go and eat that then we're actually going to cinema so I think I will catch up with you um to fill this up tomorrow morning I thought I would have time before shepherd's pie but that's not the case and we're back it's the next morning the shepherd's pie was delicious and crazy rich Asians is such a good film really like light-hearted kind of rom-com chick flick style Charlie enjoyed it as well a little bit of comedy in there as well definitely definitely recommend if you're looking for a really fun um cinema experience okay so back to where I left off I'm going to be filling up my jewellery box I'm so excited to do this I think what I'm going to do is just fill it up and then I will show you give you a little tour afterwards because otherwise it's going to be a very long video let's do it So I've laid all my jewellery out. As you can see, aside from the two containers that I showed you yesterday, this beautiful box and these Muji drawers, everything is being stored in boxes, which means I really just can't see it all. I always forget what I've got. My Pandora jewellery is quite well organised, actually. I've got my silver pieces, um, my kind of favourite pieces. These come on holiday with me. Go yellow gold, um, we've got some rose gold Pandora pieces over here. Swarovski, Astrid and Mew. Basically everything is just hidden away in boxes, so I'm going to pop it in the beautiful um, presentation box here, so then I'll be able to make the most of all of my gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. We are just about there with the jewellery organisation. Took me quite a long time to untangle a lot of things. So this is going to be my top layer. As you can see, I've put my more statement rings in the display area and then my stacking rings I've got in these two little cabinets. Um, a couple of necklaces, some of my most frequently worn earrings and then this ring should probably go in there. Got my yellow gold bracelets, my rose gold bracelets. I also have a few more of my Pandora charm bracelets in here because they are currently very tangled so I'm going to take them to my mum's house while we're having a cup of tea later and I will detangle them. Some of my necklaces are in these little areas and then my most frequently worn necklaces are up here. Then if we go into the next layer down, this is extra earrings. We've also got a few rings in here, um, some little cute Astrid and Mew earrings, my Pandoras, a door from Swarovski. Again, some really commonly worn necklaces. My Mazoma necklace, got the, um, I think they're called like Click by Swarovski magnetic bracelets. And then in here, I've also got some charms for my Monica Vinader necklaces. Some of my most frequently worn bracelets, my Monica Vinader Fiji signature, um, and also the diamond Fiji, so beautiful. Then in the bottom layer, these are my bigger pieces. I've got a couple of my watches in here. 
and some Pandora bangles. I've got my more kind of costume jewelry earrings in this pouch. More Pandora stacking bracelets, the new Pandora reflections bracelets. I need to get some snaps of these soon. This is a new style. It's almost like a watch strap. Really, really cool. I love layering these. And then I've got my diamond poppy for Remembrance Day, just safely stored in there. So now I just stack them all together. And I've got to think of a really nice place to keep it. Oh, and also here's some of my other Monica Vinegar jewellery but it's actually a little bit tarnished. I do know however that on the Duke of York Square store or maybe even all of their stores you can go and get your jewellery cleaned for free so that's all in there ready for the next time I head near one of their stores. And so I have decided that the jewellery stack is going to live on my um, shelving unit so I've popped it on this little shelf down here so this is how it will look in situ fits in absolutely perfectly with the rest of my pieces unfortunately the mirror keeps um, unsticking so I'm gonna have to get some super glue on that but I think it looks absolutely gorgeous and I'm so happy that all of my jewelry is perfectly displayed I'll finally be able to get the most out of my beautiful pieces